Morning everybody. Which not a very good one actually. It's uh, wet and windy this morning. Um, I thought we we're going to have to um, do a repair. My drain cock, when you drain the hot water tank, when I go back to Tracy's I always drain um, the hot water tank. Um, and every time I come out after I've been at Tracy's and I close the, t the, the cock, close the, the drain cock, it tends to drip a bit. And it, every time I come out it's getting longer and longer is this period when it drips. Um, and I thought it wasn't going to stop at all yesterday. Anyway, it has. But I think it's going to need replacing that drain cock on the hot water tank. That's another job when I get back. Uh, right. The story. Art College. Three-year course. A BA. Yeah. Well, I, I got a grant to go to art college. It was £60 a week that I got, um, which was quite good. But unfortunately, I had to pay £80 a month in tax because of the trouble that I had with the Inland Revenue over the gallery. Um, so I finished up owing them tax and I... I paid it off at £80 a month and I think I paid it for the whole three years uh, that I was at the poly. Um, but we, we managed. All right. Um, now, I, it has to be said, I didn't particularly enjoy my three years at Leeds Poly. Um, but I, I, I did it. Well, <laughs> there was only one failure in my year, when you're looking at him. Um, I'll tell you about it. Not long after I arrived at the poly, I, um, I went into the common room and there was a coffee machine in the common room. And I was really amused what somebody had done with this coffee machine because they put a sign over the, you know, where you take your cup out, they put a sign over the top of it said, be here with honours, please take one. That just summed it up. And so I actually wrote a book while I was at the poly called a be here with honours, please take one. Um... Now, I was, I was writing this, unbeknown to anybody else. Um, um, so, off we went, and in my first year, I won first prize. Yeah, surprised me as well. Um, and then we, we... It's funny, but... The, I was the oldest, I think I was the oldest student there. I was what you call a mature student. Um, I would have been 32, I think, when I was at the poly. Most of them were straight out of uh, sixth form, you know. Um, and I was still running the gallery in my first year. And I actually did organise an exhibition for some of the students. Um, at the gallery. Uh, but uh, there was another guy who was a bit like me. He he come from Runcorn and he'd worked in in in, in uh, a foundry or something in Runcorn. Um, he arrived on a motorbike with a barber coat on and um, he'd been he'd worked. Most of the students had not experienced the the world of work whereas me and Gary had um but it's funny but <laughs> this guy it, it had hands like shovels 
and he'd, he'd done a, a manual, real manual job. But as the as the years pro progressed, um, he changed sex. Yeah, amazing, really. He, he, Gary became Leslie. Um, but he, yeah, but when, it's strange really because he, he became an extreme, he, he used to wear twin, twin sets, you know, skirt and tops and I, 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 I can't deal with it very well, I'm afraid, I'm a bit narrow minded, I'm afraid, um, but it's funny, I'm mentioning Gary because in the second year, me and him shared the first prize. Um, and I had a, a, a three years really of conflict um, with, with the college because they wanted, well, as part of the course, you had to write a thesis. And I, were, I argued with them for the right through the my three years at art college that if I were a writer, I won't be a painter, and you should they should be able to authenticate my work um, and the influences behind it. People like Egon Sheila, Stanley Spencer, that I was influenced by at that time. They should have been able to see that in my work. But you see, that's how I was. Just I just dug my heels in and I refused to write this thesis that they wanted. And <coughs> as I, I mean, I did tend to work at home a lot, but they didn't like me working at home. Um, and I did, I did work there and I'll put, I've got a photograph, it's not a very good <laughs> photograph, but it does show you me working on, I mean, I worked on really big paintings then, and they weren't paintings, they were wax drawings. Uh, I used to make my own wax sticks. I used to, um, I had read up on Egyptian encausticators. They, they used to encausticate the lids of their tombs, their coffins. Um, they used to use this wax and they used to burn it in with charcoal in a basket. Well, I I used to buy um, uh, cotton duck, which is like sailcloth from a ship's chandlers in Leeds. Beautiful place, wonderful smell in there. I used to buy me, me, um, me canvas from there. And at this painting, I, I, the one that I'll show you, it was 20 foot long and nine foot high. Um, and I used to, I used to buy my own pigment from a dye works in Gummersel and make, uh, I used to add, I used to just make the, the primary colours, red, yellow, uh, blue, uh, black and white. Um, and I used to add a, a tiny bit of French chalk to the um, pigment and buy pure beeswax and melt it down in a crucible. And I used to buy siphoning tube and cut it into lengths and slit it down the side. And then I used to ma put masking tape on the bottom and down the side and fill these little siphoning tubes up with the melted wax of the of the pigment with the pigment in and put them in the fridge. Now when they've gone out, take them out of the fridge and just take the tape off and part the tube and I'd have a a stick of pure beeswax uh, of all all the primary colours. And I I used to stretch the canvas on a on a stretcher, make my own stretches and then get a blow lamp and singe all the hair, fine hairs off the canvas, sand it down. And I used to prime it with rabbit skin glue, sand it down, prime it again, sand it down, prime it again. 
and then I was to mix black acrylic with water and then prime it, sand it down, prime it, sand it down. So I had a beautifully smooth canvas that was jet black. And then I used to draw the outline um, of figures onto the canvas and then go start filling it all in with the wax sticks. And when I'd done it, then I'd get the blow lamp and burn it in to the canvas. And that's what I used to do. Um, why? I, I, I sort of went off on a tangent here. Um, yeah. During my third year, they, they started to panic, be, did the college, because I shouldn't have been allowed to enter into my third year without writing a thesis, and I, and I was in my last year. And they started putting a lot of pressure on me to write this damn thesis. And I, In the end, I walked out of the college, went home, and this book thing that I was writing, a BA with honours, please take one, I typed it up. Typed it all up. And I've still got the book that, that's handwritten back at Tracy's. Um, but I typed it all up, went to the School of Humanities, threw it on his desk and said, right, that's what you wanted, that's what you'll get. And I refused to show any of my work at the show at the end of the course. So I failed the course. <laughs> you got your friend's own nose to spite, <laughs> didn't you? Well, what 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 would, didn't a, get your what would a BA what would a BA have done to help me in my life? Well, I don't know. I wasn't going to become a teacher. No. Um, so so I did my three year course, but I didn't have a, I ain't got a BA. I'm not a Bachelor of Art. <laughs> no. <gasps> okay. Bye. <laughs> oh, Pat has just reminded me of something. Um, when I was at college, um, who should be at college at the same time as me, as Mark Armand and Dave Ball from Soft Cell. Um, they were working, there was a music room at the, at the college and they used to, you knew when they'd been in because it was like a tip. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, but of course they became famous, didn't they? Um, and apparently Pat says that it's some, it's some anniversary of theirs. Yeah, yeah. What, what's that? Is it... 50 years, is it? Is it 50 years since? I don't know. No, it'll be 50, will it? Will it? I don't know. I can't remember I can't. now. I did read 70, it. 70, 80, 80 or something. No, no, it ain't 50 year, no. no. Uh, anyway, thought I'd... Just saying. <laughs> Just saying, you know. <laughs>